Welcome to episode 3 of the fat loss series where we do our best to get in the best shape possible Today we will be doing an epic meal prep to help you reach your goals We will be preparing all the meals for Monday through Friday. This will save you money time It includes tasty and extremely nutritious meals. I follow a plant-based diet But this can easily be used for those who eat meat too, especially if you're on a budget <laughs> I knew there was something wrong with this guy Hippie ass tree hugger. Nice try. Unsubbed. During this meal prep, the calories that I will be aiming for are 2,600 calories with a macro ratio of 60 20 20. I will be preparing three meals for every day, which includes oatmeal, a burrito bowl, and a curry. Number one is going to be overnight oats. The ingredients you'll be needing will be 500 grams of bananas that come to $1.10. Remember the prices may differ depending on where you live. Next up will be 500 grams of oats, which is actually the food with the highest amount of manganese and it is very high in protein, zinc and fiber. If you don't eat oatmeal, you're missing out. Next, 500 grams of frozen berries. This is key. You can use fresh, but frozen are usually cheaper. These are low calorie and very, very tasty. This increases the volume of the meal making you fuller for longer and of course gives you a huge antioxidant boost. Next is 75 grams of protein powder. You can use any protein that you want. I'm using Vivo Perform, the healthiest protein out there, which is why I'm working with them. This gives you a BCAA boost. This protein in particular also includes turmeric, spirulina and iodine. And by the way, if you're interested in trying this one out, check out the link in the description box and use the code JV5 for a discount. Moving on, 100 grams of flax seeds. This is the food with the highest concentration of omega-3. This comes to $2.60 for the 100 grams we're gonna use. The last ingredient is one liter of soy milk. This actually has 75% more antioxidants than cow's milk. It is very high in protein, calcium, vitamin D, and B12. And no, in case you're wondering, soy does not lower your testosterone or increase estrogen. So the first thing we're gonna do is divide the 500 grams of oats into five separate jars. You can also use Tupperwares if you don't have jars. Next, we weigh out the 20 gram of flax seeds for each day and add that to the jar too. Then we do the same with our protein powder, 15 grams in each jar. Then we just mix it up with a spoon or whatever until it's evenly spread. Now you take the 500 grams of banana that you bought and mash them up. This is extremely important if you want your oatmeal to taste good as it will become much sweeter this way. Then again, divide equally in each jar. Now again, the 500 grams of frozen berries also evenly distributed in each jar. And lastly, pour 200 milliliters of soy milk into a measuring cup and then add 100 milliliters of water on top of it and put it into the jar that you will be using the next morning and mix. Leave the rest of the jars dry and pour the liquid the night before use. When you wake up, you can easily grab it from the fridge, throw it in your backpack and get ready for school or work. And that's it for breakfast. This will keep you full and energized for hours. The total calories are 694 calories, 102 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat and 36 grams of protein. After a few hours, it's time for lunch. The ingredients you will need to make the five burrito bowl meals are 500 grams of red bell pepper which by the way is the highest food in vitamin C it's also high in folate vitamin A and E and tastes delicious then you'll need one kilogram of broccoli this is extremely important for fat loss as it will add huge amounts of volume without adding the calories feel free to use as much of it as you like broccoli is very anti-inflammatory and actually a good source of omega-3 next up 500 grams of cabbage full of polyphenols which promotes healthy digestion and fights off cancer cells and for all you supplement fiends yes it even contains l-glutamine then we got 500 grams of onion high in biotin manganese and copper i'm addicted to onions it makes everything taste a million times better and then we got some salsa 500 grams which was two jars in this case make sure to get one without added sugars next up 250 grams of sweet corn which is high in protein beta carotene and pantothenic acid which supports energy production and fat metabolism now the main star of the dish 1.5 kilograms of pinto beans these are cooked if you want to save more money buy them raw and cook them yourself these are very high in protein folate iron and much more next is 400 grams of brown rice if you are into the bodybuilding and fitness scene I'm sure you had your fair share of this but in this meal it tastes amazing brown rice is high in selenium manganese thiamine and niacin okay so first we will chop up the onions and pepper that will be stir-fried 
and then move on to the broccoli which I recommend eating raw or lightly steaming. Throw the onions and the pepper on a pan, do not use oil to fry them. Just add enough water and at the same time steam the broccoli until it reaches the consistency of your choice. In the meantime start preparing the rice, weigh out 400 grams, this is optional but I love adding some garlic in there too. When the water is boiling add the rice in, make sure the water level is just above the rice and let it cook on minimal heat for about 20 minutes. While the rice is cooking, chop up the cabbage and put it aside for later use. After that, take out the 1.5 kilograms of beans from the jar, rinse them until all bubbles go away. Make sure to do this or you will have fireworks coming out of your ass. <laughs> Put the beans in a bowl and get ready to season them with spices of your choice. I use cumin, paprika and black pepper. So the rice should be done by now. Get the Tupperware out and evenly distribute everything into each one. It doesn't have to be perfect, just eyeball it. And boom, epic lunch for the entire week is prepped. This can easily be brought along with you anywhere without spillage risk as there is no liquids in there. The total price of each burrito bowl lunch comes to $2.75. Calories are 932 with 181 grams of carbs, 6 grams of fat and 45 grams of protein. Yes, this is a very low fat meal, so we will be increasing the fat intake at dinner. Many hours later, it's dinner time. We will now be preparing a curry. The ingredients will be 1,250 grams of sweet potatoes, I am a big advocate of these and I think that everyone should have it as a staple. It is a food with the highest amount of vitamin A, it's high in B vitamins, beta carotene and loads of antioxidants. If you're not a fan, use white potatoes instead. Next up, one kilogram of chopped tomatoes. This is very high in vitamin K and C and lycopene. And again, more onions. We're using 500 grams again. It will make everything taste better, so make sure to use it. Next up will be 50 grams of red chili pepper. Use more if you like very spicy food. Chili increases thermogenesis and is high in capsaicin, which helps fight inflammation. Then we have garlic. We're gonna be using three cloves. And of course, like onion, makes everything taste that much better. Now moving on to one of my all-time favorites, tofu. We are using one kilogram of tofu. It is very high in protein, very high in calcium, omega-3 and iron. This is definitely a food that you should try out. Tofu is a little bit like white fish, but much better. It does taste plain until you season it, so make sure to experiment a little bit. Now the main source of fats for the dish 400 grams of coconut milk. I use the full fat one. If you want to limit your fat intake a little bit more, go with the light one. Next, also one of my staples, one kilogram of lentils. Also a crazy good and tasty source of protein and iron. And it is actually the food that is the highest in folate. Once again, I bought pre-cooked ones because I'm a lazy bastard, but if you want to save more money, buy them raw. Now, start off by chopping up the onions. Warning, you may break out in tears, just like Catherine did. Please don't cry, Catherine. Onions make me sad. Throw the onions in the pan and chop up the chili and throw it in there too. Next, chop up or squeeze three garlic cloves. This will make the curry 10 times better. Do not use powdered garlic. It sucks in comparison. Next, the sweet potatoes. I sometimes leave the skin on, but you can also peel it. Chop it into cubes and then throw that into the pan too. Now, the tofu. Chop it into cubes. If you're not a big fan of the taste of tofu, chop it into smaller pieces and you won't be able to taste it as much. Do not throw the tofu in the pan, just wait a little bit. So now we add all of the chopped tomato into the pan with the rest of the veggies and some water if needed. Then pour in the coconut milk, which kind of looks like a yogurt here. Mix it all up and throw in some spices. I recommend using cumin, powdered coriander, turmeric, paprika and black pepper. Once it starts boiling, throw in the tofu and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, rinse the lentils and the curry should be done. Again, get your Tupperware out and throw in the lentils in equal amounts in each. Then do the same with the curry and mix if preferred. And there you go, dinner is done. This only comes to $3.35 and 957 calories, 113 grams of carbs, 30 grams of fat and 60 grams of protein. And that is all the meals. I have been eating this for the past few days and it is very filling and very satisfying. It's super healthy for you. Definitely give it a try. This is what I typically eat to get fast results and what we recommend to our online clients who have gotten crazy results. So please do not forget to try these meals to make progress with me and please hit the subscribe and notification bell and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. Peace out.